Hey guys, Jessica here. So today we're going to talk about that 12 week magical period where the milk supply regulates what that means and how you can use that information to better support your breastfeeding goals. So what exactly happens at 12 weeks that everyone talks about? We talk about it 12 weeks the supply regulates, but I find most moms actually don't know what that means. And if you don't know what that means, you can easily mismanage your situation and then run into a situation where you have to work harder or you face consequences that you weren't looking to have to deal with. So when your baby's born and your placenta is delivered, lactogenesis 2, which is that copious milk production, kicks off. This happens even if you don't stimulate the breast. We want you to stimulate the breast in that first few days, but even without breast stimulation, the milk is going to come in for most people unless there's a serious hormonal issue. So you deliver your baby, those hormones are telling your body, we need to make milk. If our body relied on the signal from a newborn baby, which could be born weak, premature, could have issues learning how to feed, if we relied exclusively on that stimulus to produce milk, we would have a much higher rate of breastfeeding failure and infant mortality because a lot of babies are born struggling to feed effectively in that first couple weeks. So the way that our bodies have evolved to handle that is that we are born with a hormonal kickstart and a hormonal boost that lasts for about eight to 16 weeks, the average being about 12. So what ends up happening is in that first couple weeks, if you send this amount of signal, you get this amount of milk. So for every amount of signal you send your body that you need milk, you're getting milk that is inconsistently high with this signal if everything is going well. That doesn't mean that everybody will have an oversupply, but it means that when the lactation system is working correctly, the amount of input needed to get the milk is lower than what you would expect it to be. So if you're putting in this amount of input, we would expect this amount of milk once you're regulated. She may be producing this in that first 12 weeks while you're not regulated yet. This is why moms will often feel that their breasts are full. They're heavy in between feeds. You empty the breast and 30 to 60 minutes later, you already feel like it's time to feed again because your body is working overtime. This is your body trying to assure that even if your baby is not the most effective eater in the beginning, it gives the baby a chance to grow and to be able to feed better over time while still driving the supply. The hope is that within just a few weeks, your baby is capable of driving the demands you need. Now, that said, this doesn't always happen. Sometimes that hormonal mismatch means that we should be putting in about this much input, but we're really putting in about this much because the baby's not feeding effectively, we're pumping with a pump that's not effective, the franchise is wrong, and we get a full supply. So it gives us this misleading idea that breastfeeding is going really well, but the stimulation is not there. So as those hormones decrease, we're going to see that all of a sudden we have a low supply issue in a mom that previously had enough milk. That's not because something happened to her milk. That's because the signal was not being sent properly. And in that first 12 to 16 weeks, the body is really vulnerable to ineffective stimulation and not seeing the immediate result of that. That's why we want to monitor how breastfeeding is going. That's why we want to make sure that the baby's latch doesn't just look good from the outside, that it is good, that we're driving good milk production. That's why we want to make sure that if you're pumping, your flanges fit well, your routine fits well. Now, what I see most commonly that upsets moms is that the milk supply is really plentiful in the beginning, so they only need to pump this much. So they're, they're pumping their eight times a day, they're getting all this excess milk, so they say, oh, I'm really tired because those first, those first couple months are hard. I'm really tired, so I'm going to sleep. So I drop the end input and the milk drops a little bit, but it's still above where it needs to be. So she drops again, you know, she's missing a couple pump sessions. She's sleeping through that pump session at night and then the supply drops and then she drops it a little bit more. And what she expects is that her milk will stay where it was, but it slowly drops over time. And then because we have compromised that milk supply in the early days, what happens is in order to get that milk supply back up, we don't just need to apply that equal effort that we would expect. We have to apply more effort. So the in order to get the output back up, we have to up the signal above where it would normally need to be sent. This is why we really want to make sure that you're pumping with a good plan. 
You cannot rely on where your milk supply is in that first couple weeks to tell you how often you need to pump. Moms that have more than 40 ounces of milk a day have something called hyperlactation, which means if you're dealing with that and you want to make sure you keep your supply, but you're not really sure how to pump, you want to be working with a skilled lactation consultant who understands pumping, understands milk supply, and can help you find that balance between getting enough rest and getting enough signal to sustain that supply. This is why if you are struggling to meet that milk demand in that first couple weeks, we really want to look into what's going on. We don't want to assume that it'll just magically work itself out because sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes a baby is not an effective feeder. Sometimes you're not using the right pump. Sometimes there's things we need to shift. So all we're seeing in that first 12 weeks that moms are really talking about is those almost like hormonal training wheels. The hormones are driving the milk production to allow us time to get that input where it needs to be. It doesn't mean we want to rely on those hormones to drive the milk supply. We want to make sure we're getting that signal to the body because once the milk supply drops for some people, it's really hard to get back. The further postpartum you are when we see that drop and we see the impact, the harder we're going to have to work to get it back. Can we get it back? Absolutely. Can you increase your milk supply after you quote unquote regulated? Sure, you absolutely can, but you're going to have to drive up that signal to get the input and output you want. You're going to have to drive that signal higher to tell your body, hey, we really need this much milk. It's not going to be a simple, straightforward process. You can sustain a milk supply by pumping seven to eight times a day in the early weeks. And for most people, that's going to be plenty with your pumping. If you're feeding your baby directly, it's going to be closer to eight to 12 but that should be plenty if everything is effective. But if we drop that stimulus and we're not getting that input, we may see problems and we may not see them until those hormones start to settle down and we're getting more of that one-to-one -one comparison of what is this level of input driving in terms of our milk supply. So if you have any questions about this, please let me know. If you're struggling with your milk supply, please don't struggle alone. Please don't rely on other moms and Facebook groups to give you the advice you need. Everyone's situation is so nuanced. And if you're struggling with your milk supply, work with a professional so that we can help you figure out all the different things that are going on in your situation and where you're at in your breastfeeding journey to come up with a plan that's going to work to help get you to where you want to be with your supply. So hopefully this helps some moms to better understand this. And if you have any questions, just let me know.